Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. When you get complaints online, why wouldn't you hear earlier investigate? Saying, why are we getting complaints? What's wrong? You don't listen. But you, but you tell don't. You and they don't but, listen. but when when they tell you they're going to fix Central Air and they don't, no. that to me that's contempt for the customer. Well, it is. They don't care. They just don't care. It's like a politician. They don't care. Well, they'll care when they're money. When people keep walking out and they're losing money. But you see, what we were talking outside about lying and insincerity, they came, they had big Cheshire cat smiles, the both of them, the husband and wife. Oh yeah, don't worry, we're, we're on it, we're gonna fix it. These, the, 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 the franchise owners, I had a talk with them. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, sir. The owners? The hu guy. husband and wife, they were a both here. Um, He's a bald guy. From up north in Greenwich, Connecticut, or wherever. Now this guy wasn't bald. This guy he was bald chubby. Guy. He was just chubby. This is a bald guy. Oh, so maybe that was a regional. Maybe regional. You didn't speak to the owner. Oh, so the oh Greenwich, Connecticut, huh? Gee, he must be doing quite well for he himself. Owns Forty-nine of these. And he can't afford to fix friggin' air conditioning. Well, they're fixing that. They're doing redoing the whole place. But yeah, but not in a timely fashion. It was next month. <laughs> They're dragging their ass. This is hot. This is no excuse. Uh, this is brutal. No, no, it's not brutal. This is cool. No, yesterday was brutal. Oh, but, my. But I wasn't here. I was at happy hour. I, left I, got, I got back. I had to go right in the shower. So this is all This is just all I was at La Fortaleza and Garfield after an happy hour. Oh. Having Modelo Especial. And, and my, I had one because... My brother-in-law explained to me how tough DWIs are in New Jersey nowadays. Oh my God, that's nothing new. It's like zero point that's something, blah, blah. New. This is like a brainstorm from him or something. It's been horrible for over 10, 15 yeah. years. Like one stinking beer is going to like put me over the top. Whatever a cop wants to do, he'll find something to get you for. Yeah. What the hell did I have? Oh, I had uh, pork, roast pork, soft tacos. And uh, one Modelo, and uh, it was quiet. They all know me there by now. I was talking to the owner. Um, really lovely place. Where is it? Uh, Midland Avenue in Garfield, New Jersey. Oh, I don't know Garfield. Yeah. Well, you know Passaic Street that goes to River Road. Well, anyway, it's not that far from from us. It's probably like 10, 10 minutes from here. I wish the idiot was here. Oh, with the vest and the sports jacket? Well, that's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> like I said the other day, he brought them, I brought him back. I, I want to say, 
He doesn't even brush his hair, for Christ's sake. His hair, shaved, strings coming out of his shoes. Is it, you know, really, you're present. Maybe. You're bodily, body maintenance. Maybe Albert Einstein is his mentor. Maybe he oh, wants to. That's, that's why he never gets more than eight people. But, you know, to have Lectures. to have somebody look you, you know what's worse than a regular pathological liar is when somebody can look you in the eye, both eyes, and lie to you. In general. Generally speaking. Well, maybe because they believe what they're saying. Oh, like, so like, like the hoarder Eileen, yeah. So sick, they believe what they say. And then what, it's everybody else's fault. You're not listening. You're not listening. Now... I have a hunch that when she goes and gets the St. Benedict medallion blessed, she's not going to remove it from the package and she forgot to bring the holy water. Watch. Whatever you, whatever sound advice you give that woman, she, she'll yes you to death, but she won't ap apply it. Would you share with how you be mentally sick you get a degree? Yeah. Oh God. Or get elected. All Trump? I mean, to be mentally unstable and get elected too. And here, they're so they're so they're so stingy that they can't even pay the cable bill, so we can watch CNN. The manager had to bring her own antenna. Holy crap! Oh my God! Oh God! You know what? The, you know what the own the bald headed owner reminds me of? Jeff Bozo Bezos of Amazon. The guy that looks like he has a dildo for a head? Yeah. I hear he's got, he's using agency people with no, that get no benefits now. He just agency people to work. That's you. He's a multi, multi-billionaire up any times over. Right. I think he's one of the wealthiest people on earth. Second, I think. The guy that owns uh, Alibaba in the mainland China, I think, is one one of the, the wealthiest, if not the, the wealthiest. wealthiest. Putin well, Putin doesn't like competition to run against them. They kind of like uh, know that. have he, accidents, you know. Talk about wealth. He's yeah. The wealthiest guy. Yeah. Well, if you're a friggin' dictator, I guess you can control everything. Well, yeah, but still, no other dictator been worth that much. You know, a half-frozen beer would, would not be that bad right now. Not half-frozen, at least 25%. No, this sucks. There's no air moving at all. Yeah, this is absolute proof of totally disrespecting your customers. Contempt for your customers. And this guy lives, of course he lives in Greenwich, Connecticut. That's like the super wealthy... Freaking, uh, you know. This is McDonald's that I come to here in Hasbro Heights. Does the owner care at all about his customer base? Oh, God. No. Contempt, yeah. Disrespect, yeah. Oh, man. Does he deserve to own this McDonald's and all the others that he does own? Hmm. And you said it's 49, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. He's got to be loaded. Loaded with loot, brother. It shows how you can be stupid, not caring, and make money. Maybe because he is so wealthy, he becomes like... He doesn't care because he owns so many. That's, that's not but that's that's a bad attitude. That's not right. There's so many people that are wealthier than him that care. You know, it's like He's just an you ever hear stories and somebody opens up a restaurant, family-owned, and they start off, you know, caring about customer satisfaction. They just don't care. And then they get really established, and then they start they start cutting corners. This guy's a jerk. This guy's a jerk. And I've seen it. I've seen it. Once you, you know, they get so established and they just, it's a human nature problem. It's, it's a way of attitude problem. You, you never, you never stop putting your customers, you know, first. Well, I do. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that you can't be comfortable. Yeah. This is not right. It could be something as easy as built built in obsolescence of a light bulb that burns right. out you know well could you imagine if yesterday i wouldn't have stayed here that long
I was ten minutes. I said, I fuck. I said, fuck this. I'm out. Of here. Oh out yeah. Of well, you got you got every every indoor room imaginable over there with the AC cranked up. Everything's cool. Why should you suffer over here? Bananas. Uh, what do you call it? Gabriel's restaurant. The, even the hallways uh, leading to the rooms. Yeah, they're nice and cold. The bar, the bar at Gabriel's. This, this is just bullshit. They, they have a te television at the bar at Gabriel's? Yeah, they have a number of them. Oh, it sounds like a sports bar. Well, it's not that. At least two or three. Yeah, but if there are games on, yeah, more, yeah, most more. likely you'll see, yeah. yeah. Nice big pool. Oh, yeah. Beautiful pool. Right. I'm sure it's very comfortable out by the pool today. Oh, it's huge. Because look at, look at, it's, it's, I think it's only in the 85 or something or 80. Yeah, but it's muggy. It's just, then you come in here and you swelter. This is bullshit. Look how long it took for your goddamn call. I said, what the hell are you getting? Because, because, because no one was keeping on top of the coffee machines. There was nothing. That's great. In, in the pot, by the way. That's great. It's not the. You know, incompetence. Yeah, I. You know what? Let's let's cool off outside. Hit you when you walk out. You're like, wow. Gramercy Park. McDonald's advertise. Our friend Eileen, is she blatantly lying to my friend Jimmy and myself about her relationship with Ray? Yeah, she looks us right in the eyeballs, too. Son of a bitch. That day, months ago, was it a Sunday? Yeah, I think it was, it was a weekend day. That weekend day when Ray left, she left for the time 20 seconds running after him. Was she running after Ray to meet with Ray? Hmm. Some sec secluded rendezvous across the avenue, cocktails for two. Yeah, she lies. She looks at you in the eye and lies, which is worse. You know, Jimmy, that's the way he gets fed up. Fuck these people. You know. you do, do what you fucking want, right? Yeah. I don't know. You're sick of, not you, but I get sick of your shit. You know what I mean? You lie to us, you don't do this, you blah, blah, blah. My guy, my guy. She stopped that once since I called her out. I'm so sick of hearing my guy. You haven't seen him in the fucking over here. You know, you, you know what I told my sister Lisa yesterday? You know, concerning um, all the aggravate, all the aggravation that people get in general with relationships and marriages and everything, I says now I know why certain men are lifetime bachelors. They choose to be bachelors. Remember Vincent Gardenia, the actor? He 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 died a bachelor. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was. Well, I don't know if he was ever married, but he was a he was a he was a an admitted lifelong bachelor. He just didn't want, I know a guy from Dumont that lives in San Diego, Don, Donald Boos. He goes on, uh, he goes to resorts all the time, goes to Vegas, goes everywhere. He lives by, he has a roommate, no significant other, no marriage, nothing. He comes and goes as he pleases. Well, you know how I feel. It doesn't make sense to me, the same person, every single yeah, yes. but you know what's even worse? When they when they complain and say, Why do you have those hobbies? Why do, Why you, do you do that? I don't like Why your friends. Do you do Why do you do that? You know? Oh, you like that? I heard a girl and a guy talking over here in the parking lot a few weeks back. Yeah. He was smoking. She was heavy, very heavy. Oh, jeez. Why don't you quit smoking? For myself, I laughed. I said, he ought to say so. Like, Why don't you quit eating? <laughs> that, was yeah. that was cute. You know? Why don't you quit eating? Yeah, you quit smoking, you quit eating. In other words, okay. she's like, she's like Chris Christie. Like, yeah, I mean, come on, don't, you know, you're criticizing uh, and smoking, look at you. Why don't you quit Trump smoking? Chubbsy. I mean, you know. <laughs> don't call, Mrs. Krabs, you don't call me Norman. Call yeah, me yeah. Chubbsy Ubsy. <laughs> I, I sit there and I watch and I'm like, what the fuck is her problem? But that, that, it doesn't end there, you know. Well, why, why don't you quit smoking? 
Do you ever think maybe there's a part like it? Yeah. My, my friend Joe, the old guy, you saw one day, he, he knows I get impatient. You do too. Yeah. That's what, you have to learn to be patient. I said, you, whoa, you wait a minute, hot shot. Why do I have to learn to be patient? Why should I learn to be patient? Where is that written? I said, what's your it's point? What's... Why do I have to learn to be patient? He couldn't connect it with anything? Sure, right up, you know, but he so. couldn't, like, tie it into anything. No, I forget what it was on the highway. I said, oh, come on. Or and, but, but my point was, to him, he couldn't argue. Why do I have to learn to be patient? I don't want to be patient. I'm not patient. I don't like waiting on shit. Well, I, gave you, I gave you an, an example. Back in the day, I was in Bob the Accountant's car. And and Bob the accountant, uh, along with many other idiosyncrasies that he had, he would be driving on a major highway. In this case, it was Garden State Parkway. He was in the left lane going 35 to 40 miles an hour. Everybody was blowing a horn at him. Move over! What are you doing? You're in the you're in the, you're in the fast lane, man. He was in the middle lane. I said, listen. You push that pedal on the right a little harder, it will go faster. I had a fit up here on the boulevard with a beat. Oh, like Tom, Tom, uh, oh, selling Tom. An SUV cop car. Oh, I said, pull over. Pull over. You better pull over, Mac. I yelled again. I said, pull the fuck over. What? I said, you're lucky he's going on a call. You just escaped a $200, $250 fine. What do you mean? I said, whatever you see, just lights and or a you, siren. You yield. Both sides have to pull over. You have to yield. You didn't budge. Oh, I didn't know that. I said, you've lived here 30 some odd years. What do you mean Listen, you don't know that? Any siren, EMTs, police officers, both sides, pull over. Both sides. I you, said, my God, I'll be. I bet that's on the written test when you get your license. You have well, you, you have to yield to a siren. Both sides, though. Right, but uh, like I'm saying, if somebody's on the highway, get and you want to go 40 miles an hour, get the hell in the right lane where the exits are. Don't people don't don't stay in the left and lane. Red Cruz. And, and everybody's uh, like, everybody's tailgating and blowing the horn. You well, asshole. I'm, it sounds like Bob drove like his personality. He didn't know what the hell he was doing. Well, no, he was a very um, stubborn, in lots of ways, selfish man. I says, why? You know what you are? Remember when Mr. Magoo yelled, road hog? You're a road hog. You're a hog in the highway. You have no business being... I would love to see a cop pull him over. What do you think he's doing? Well, he was pulled over one time in um, North Arlington or... Um, Belleville, I forgot. He was telling me the story. He went to this go-go bar over there, and uh, the cop got him for something called channelization. In other words, the way he um, he tailgated, he actually like tailgated the cop, and then went around him like like really fast. Like I don't know, the cop didn't like what he did, and uh, gave him a ticket. So. Uh, but I says, you don't stay in the fast lane if you're going 40 miles an hour, man. Get in the right lane. You're embarrassing me. right lane except the You know, a cop will think, you, if you're going too slow on the highway, he'll think you're drunk or they high. Said, they said slow drivers cause more accidents than speeders. Like with the elderly, when the elderly drive. Yeah. You ever, you ever hear the, the Jerry Seinfeld joke about when the person, the older the person gets, the shorter they get and the bigger their car gets until you you see the little head sticking up like that. Well, my doctor told me, this is true, <clears throat> that your body begins to shrink at age 30, except for your ears and nose. Oh, God. That's and why I George told, Burns had... I told him, I said, oh, great. I'm going to look like a cross between, uh, uh, what did I say? Groucho Marx? Or no. something in Dumbo. A chimpanzee has no, not a chimp. No, sorry. something in Dumbo. But I told him that. Jimmy lie. Durante. No. Ha cha cha cha! My nose. But that's true. Your ears and nose are the only two things that don't shrink. Oh, that's a lovely thought. That's what I said. All oh, ears, Grand. Dumbo. 
and and you know what? It's not so much lack of calcium; it's hormones. Your hormones this is change. Human body. Like when they talk about osteoporosis in postmenopausal women, they found out it was oh, lack of estrogen. Years and you know, I said, "Oh, great! I look like a Pinocchio." Oh, Pinocchio must be referring to Donald Trump. Yeah. In the years. Everybody in this room. Everyone in this room has untapped potential. I told you about my buddy had to film a documentary with all those uh, motivational speakers like uh, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. He had to go down to North Carolina and, and do it. And he said, Billy, you should have heard them. They were all in the green room together and I was outside of it. And he said, you ought to hear them laughing at the people. Because they buy into this bullshit. Even Reverend Ike used to laugh when he used to pick up all the donations. He said, they buy into this shit. All these, all these suckers. They he said. Yeah, they laugh. You're laughing about it. Give them motivation. No, they'll give you motivation. Listen, when this guy that's, that tried to call me now, he does seminars nationwide and worldwide now. Actually, I don't know how he gets the suckers, but anyway. I listen. I did it. He wanted me to video his seminar. I did it as a favor. I listened to what he did. He had, he had the people warm up with 100 reps as he told stories. I would say 95% of the seminar was all storytelling, and he's laughing. I, I, oh, guess what? I was, I'll tell you this story now. <laughs> and he's laughing. And I'm Do like, any of you realize what's inside of each of you? He got $500 ahead. The potential that you have. We've got to bring it out. You know what? In order to bring People hear that, you've got them both. In order to bring your potential out, you need to empty your oh, bank account. God's sake. 500 bucks. Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to televisions, you'd be surprised how cheap flat screen smart t uh, t the new smart TVs have gotten. You point to one guy in an audience, you. You have any idea what's inside of you? You. You. It's incredible. Yeah, but they got to send you to five hundred to a thousand dollars first. Yeah, I know. Let's go on. Here's my new book. My, <laughs> my DVD collect. Uh, but you feed an ego, you'll make money. Really? Me? You think I have untapped potential? Oh, you can't imagine. Tell you me have more. No idea what you're it, you're losing out on because you haven't tapped what's inside. Is it my astrology sign that makes me so special? What makes me so special? Well, every sign is special. Oh, that's nice of you to say that. You know what? I am going to buy your, I am going to buy your DVD collection for an additional hundred and forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. You know, it'd be easy, it'd be even easier to make money making a little pamphlet, like ten, twenty pages, sell it for just ten dollars and motivate it. Your voice alone would get would fill a room, a, a, a hotel. A, what do you call them? Banquet rooms. Banquet, room. Banquet hall. You have no. You See, unlike these other people, I'm not selling you a whole book or a whole seminar. Mine is a booklet, ten pages, for ten dollars. And you know what? When you're at the podium, I bet that you can take the amulet out there in your well, your sure, seminar. Sure. People, I want to show you that I am in touch with the cosmic energy coming from the galaxies of the universe. Meet my amulet. Amulet. Uh, do these people really have? untapped potential in my seminar and it'll go yes and they'll be like oh my god he's not he's not moving the, that pendulum well, well they would lie you know they would lie they would have a little magnetic thing hidden <laughs> if somebody backstage is working the way are oh, you talking about three card monty the show game yeah. remember that the, 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 what was it a split P or something that was uh, a walnut show it was a walnut show there's a hole or Oh yeah, the wall, the pee went through the hole on the tip. Look at this, it's so humid. I mean, you get some fries to go, we'll go. This yeah, you know what, enough is enough. You know, why suffer? Oh. Well, at least we had some laughs. Next, they don't want us to be comfortable. Next to the famous Bananas Country, uh, country Club, what am I saying, uh, comedy club. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.